Welcome back to day two of the US Open. We're live from the National Squash Center at Drexel University. Reiterated that as well, that you know, she's billed for the very top. But obviously, she's still only 21, but she was on the scene at a very young age, like a lot of these top Egyptian girls. Yeah. And her ambitions are set at the very highest level. Beautiful. That was very Black athletic. Box. Looking very confident. 10 3, game ball. Oh, she timed that really well. Both feet off the ground, nearly. It's a nice play. Stroke to Hamami. Yeah, she's right 11, behind it. Four, she's certainly to reading Hamami. Hamami leads one game to love. a lot earlier in this match than when they played in Cairo. But again, for the campaign of El Hamami, this is her first opening in the US Open and wanting to make a mark, leading one game to love. So we're starting to look at both of these players playing well at the same time in the second mid stage. The width on that one. It's good defensive play from El Hamami. Oh, this is pressure though. This is a terrific rally. Oh wow. Yeah, it's very good. Very good rally. Very intense. Yes, sled. Oh, she got Ten away nine, with that. Ball. That serve kicked off the sidewall right onto the racket of Aiken. Goes for the nick. Let's see if she serves ball. better this time. The pressure. Hand out. She it's knew that all. Aiken was looking for that forehand volley. By two points, each player Forced her to serve out. Oh, looked to have volleyed that one. It's good pressure again. This is unbelievable squash. It's very, very good squash. A bit heavy on that. Oh, read it. <laughs> Rat -a -tat. This is absolutely brilliant. What a rally. Oh, oh she went for it. She didn't make it. 11, game to Hamami. Hamami leads two games to love. Oh, very entertaining. It's a shame it's not being witnessed by more fans in the crowd. An opportunity for Aiken to equalize. Didn't get it. El Hamami drawing on all her reserves and the match time starting to increase. 16 minutes, second game. It's now two love for Hanya El Hamami. It's unbelievable that um, Aiken is, is 35 in the world. At, and I know you said she's playing way above. Yeah, she needs but to get a bit of a run though in yeah. terms of that. And she, you know, you, you've got to make your own luck, but she has had it pretty tough with contracting COVID after the black ball, having played her best tournament there. And then being like to think she can stay healthy eventually she'll start to move up playing this type of quality oh yes there it is slotted into the nick and out two three very satisfying that one four match balls Eleven six match to Hamami, three games to love. Eleven four, thirteen eleven, eleven six. Well, she had to bring her A game to finish this one off. Huge, huge second game. That could have changed.
the momentum in favour of Aiken. 36 minutes, some very, very high quality squash from both these girls. I know Hanuel Hamami will be over the moon to get through in three games, three games to love. Welcome back to the third match of today's play. It's the Warrior Princess, the number one seed, current world champion, taking on Wing Tong from Hong Kong. Serious. I'm looking forward to you redeeming yourself in the interview that you'll be having with the winner of this one. No, that's your duty. No. Three all. That's what you'll be doing. We've agreed on the interview. Hand out seven five. Laurel Shabini just looking as relaxed as ever. Down. Eleven six. Game to Sherbini. Sherbini leads one game to love. So a decent run around in the office there. Tell that there's a lot of experience with Wing Tong. Oh, that is absolutely superb from Shabini. It's a decent lob. But she's leapt off the ground now. Starting to get a bit more adjusted to this East Court. Yeah, that's well played. Yeah, she's fine. Good movement. She's pressing five, strapping ten. away. She is. Right side, please. Good touch. Great rally, this one. Down. Oh, that's so unlucky. 11 6, game to Sherbini. Sherbini leads two games to love. So, an exciting rally. Unfortunate end there for Tong. And the Warrior Princess moves on after just 16 minutes to a two love lead here in the second round. Yeah, it's good aggression. Two, one. Leaping onto that slightly short backhand drop from Tong. Down. Hand out. Five, nine. He's away into the. Last 16 tomorrow, no rest days. So it just adds to the importance of being efficient. 11 5, Certainly match to Shermini, three games to love. 11 6, 11 top. 6, 11 5. Trademark finish, really, from Shabini. 24 minutes, three love for Norel Shabini booking a place into the last 16. Well, welcome back for the evening session here of the US Open in this marvelous Spectre Center. A lot of American interest coming up this evening, but on court we've got Amanda Sobey, current world number three and number four seed for this year's Open, up against Kei Yi Lee from Hong Kong. Everything you do needs to be exaggerated, so when you're playing your post, you've really got to get through the ball and fire it into the side wall and if you're going to try and get that ball to the back of the court you've got to lift it a little bit higher on that front wall otherwise it is extremely punishing did you find when you played that you really Hello, also have five. to exaggerate the straightness of your follow-through yes that you really had to lengthen it out i did Foul. nine four well, it's rapid fire stuff from the Southport. A 
Canada. Yeah, it's tidy work from Sobi. She really does look 11 4, game comfortable to Sobe. out there. Sobi leads one game to love. Down. It's good tight work from Lee. Hand out. One all. Yes, tidy nice. work. Signs of what's there underneath it. The shades of badminton <laughs> player yeah. be, because she's she's the very agility. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the air and when she when Toby lifts her high on the forehand, she puts her hand up like uh, you see a lot of ba badminton players do to go down for the smash. Is that the technical term? A, 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 a smash. smash. Is it six one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, used to. To play a bit of badminton in my day, 30 to 10, two, play 60 ball. range. She's got some nice touches at the front and nice boast. But down. That's an unforced error. Game to Sobe. Gifting Sobe that second game to Sobe. To love. Cruise control really for Amanda. It's a decent serve onto the side ball. Players sincerely miss their trips to the Far East. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. The three wall post neck from Lee. She's just rolled it round the backhand Seven, side six. wall. Fair play. Down. Yeah, that's good pressure again. Hand out, nine all. Sometimes a little bit of a scare like this does you good, doesn't it? Keeps nine you honest. All. Somewhat of a sigh of relief as that last ball sa sailed out. Last game was getting a little close. So 23 minutes, pure form from Amanda Sobey under the 30 minute mark as per. She takes the match 11-4, 11-2, 11-9 against Kai Yi Lee of Hong Kong. Well, welcome back. That was a very short interlude, but We've got Sabrina Sobi up against Naran Goha on court. Great line from Sobi. Hand out 3 2. Well, Sierra, she wasn't really in position to take that one on. She was too upright on the ball. The ball stayed low. Only one game ball remaining for Gohan out. <laughs> She's still, still in it. Oh, not now, she isn't. 11 9, game to Gohar. Gohar leads one game to love. Well, it's a vicious kill to finish off this game. It was back against the ball stuff in that last rally for Sobi. So, really entertaining, close, competitive game. 11 9 between these two, but it's Noren Gohar who's taken in leads by one game to love. It's great to see squash being played at this pace. You, you, you can't help but feel, though, End that four, three. unless there's slightly more variations, that it's going to go in favour of Goha. Oh, that's good. Good. That was a great yeah, shot. Yours was good. Yours was down. Hand out, 4 Very 6 tidy. Great shot. Good 
Jeez, she managed to get that up. Video referee decision. This on is a Sophie's tricky one, Lee, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not because sure. I don't know why Sophie's it? not played yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, fair play. Racket absolutely parallel to the floor on this one. I mean, she should be playing that. That's a no let if, if that's what we're looking at. Yeah, that's what we're uh, it's straight to the video well, for that no, referee. It's a no let. 11 7, game to Gohar. Yeah. You were, there was no minimal interference and you were there to strike the ball. You needed to play it. 11 7. Well, so be feeling aggrieved, not agreeing with that at all. But she's going to have to take it and going to have to go and regroup. 11 7, that second game. To love to the Terminator, Noren Gohar over Sabrina Sobi. Nice touch. Get that Three, spot two. on that backhand volley drop, Sobi. Yeah, that that's created a lot of. That's a great line. Perfect drive from Gohar. She's taking this on the rise as well. Look how early she took that ball. So six match balls for Noran Gohar. Eleven four match to well, go. Nicely Three finished by to the Terminator. 11, nine, 11, seven, Just a bit too much in the 11, end four. for Sabrina Sobi. It's relentless hitting from start to finish by Noren Gohart. That is what she loves to do. So 29 minutes in duration, Noren Gohart taking it three games to love. 11-9, 11-7, 11-4.